How does the stress flow around a rose window in a masonry facade of a church? How does the stress rearrange when a new hole is punched in a masonry? What is the complexity of a stress state in the vicinity of a relieving arch of several vossoirs embedded in a masonry? Although masonry is an ancient and extremely successful composite material, these questions still remain for many aspects open. This is due to the fact that masonry structures exhibit a mechanical response affected by extreme stiffness contrast between constituents, randomness of contact points between bricks, where unilaterality and coulomb friction dominate. These effects are known to be important in granular materials, which represent typical disordered media. In contrast, masonry is a regular distribution of elements possessing uniform geometry so that the contact point distribution is orderly random in the sense that it is randomly distributed within a constraining regular scheme. Transmission of a vertical force through dry masonry walls is investigated via transmission photoelasticity, revealing highly localized tree-like stress percolation, showing unloading islands separated by stress streams. Let's consider now the photoelastic experiment. We work on a 18 times 22 centimeters model loaded by an increasing vertical force. The graph showing the vertical force versus the displacement is shown on the right. A red spot denotes the force level. We see now that the stress percolates through the measure in a very localized stream. The stream is nearly vertical and broadens when the load is increased. Eventually we see one primary stress path plus a secondary one. We have introduced two models to describe our experiments. The first is a micromechanical model in which the masonry is a discrete structure with random contact between bricks. This is an example of a force percolation calculated through the micromechanical model. We see on the right the rules for the random force transmission through the masonry. From the previous determination of stress diffusion, using finite element code, we can obtain the principal in-plane stress difference. This is reported on the left, to be compared with the experiment on the right. In the second model, the masonry is treated as a continuous elastic material with an extreme orthotropy. In the upper part, we show the theoretical stress diffusion in an elastic isotropic material, on the left, and in a highly orthotropic material, on the right. We see in the lower part that the comparison with the experiment is excellent.